100 years ago, riding the train was an American pastime, sometimes a luxury, sometimes a necessity, but it was something that many, many Americans did on a regular basis. Fast forward to today, it's kind of a lost art. That's why it's really exciting to be here in Joseph, Oregon with Anita, who owns Joseph Branch Rail Riders, which is a new and unique way to take a train ride. Well, I mean, sort of a train ride. What exactly is this behind us, this little uh, invention of yours? This is a rail rider. Aluminum frame, polyurethane wheels, semi-recumbent seats. Uh, that's pedal, uh, single speed, mm -hmm. independent pedaling, so that you can uh, move yourself down the track and then we can turn them around and then pedal back. So if you have two people, they're working together, right? Or one person can ride this on their own if they want? One person can do this by themselves. Okay, where'd you come up with the idea? Like uh, it, it seems like something out of like a mad scientist dream, but I'm, I'm assuming it's a little bit more finesse than that. So my husband and partner, that's his mad scientist creation. Okay, <laughs> he's the mad scientist, all right. But it, basically he found this idea, mm -hmm. a similar idea on the internet, and since then he has embellished it and refined it. We have some improvements from last year. So how long is the ride? Like if I hop on this contraption of yours, how far am I going? You will go um, six miles to uh, Enterprise, okay. we'll turn around and then come back. So it's a total round trip of 12 miles or two hours. Okay, so this travels back and forth between Joseph and Enterprise, which is yes. a lovely view. Yes. Uh, anyway, what's, what's a couple of your favorite places you see along the way? Because I'm sure there's some really neat vistas out there. Well, um, you have the open meadows, mm -hmm. so you have the livestock. You also, you know, cows and horses and sheep and llamas. <clears throat> and then, um, then we have the white-tailed deer that are bounding all over the place. Oh, and sure. And then we have a peregrine falcon, and we have little rock chucks. And a lot of really neat wildlife in particular. <clears throat> yes, you see. And, and certain uh, times here we have wildflowers. So what do you do if a train comes around the bend? How do you get off the tracks? That, that would be my concern. Like, you're riding along, you know, what do you do? Well, your concerns are very common and typical. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an agreement with the Wallawa Union Railroad, okay. who is the owner of this line that says that we can use this portion of the line and there will not be a train here. I feel like that's a bonus. <laughs> like you can ride this and not be afraid there's a train coming around the corner is what you're telling me. Absolutely. What if you get stranded? Like what happens if you get stranded or winded, you're halfway between here and Enterprise or vice versa and you, you can't go on, what, what happens next? So this particular section has a drop of one and a half percent. So that means it's a little above and a little below. So um, we do have, the guide has a motor. So the motor uh, the, and the guide can assist a few people back. So okay, not so, everyone, but a few. <laughs> so how many, how many total people can you take on a trip if you full We up? can take 20, we can push like three to four carts. Okay, so you can't have a group where all 20 people would get no. wended and there's gonna no. be a problem. But right. you can push a couple three back. And I, I think I spotted a name on the push car. What do you call it? Uh, Mustang Sally. Mustang. So if you get stuck on the Joseph Branch rail ride, you can get pushed back home by, by, by Mustang Sally. That's kind of a win. So here's what's really cool. Anita has agreed to take us on a ride here at Joseph Branch Rail Riders. And I, I don't know if we're going to make it all the way to Enterprise or not. Uh, I think we have a, a couple that's going to join us as well. And we're just going to go take a, a ride uh, all the way between here at Enterprise and you get to come along. I think it's a really great activity for if you have kids, particularly. I mean, kids would love it. And uh, it exerts a little energy so they sleep better at night. You gotta go. Got to go. Yeah, it's well it's, worth it's it. It's a touch of the real Pacific Northwest.